Two teams, two trucks, expedition versus suburban. 1,000 miles to find the winner. This is the not so great race. This is uh, not for me. Yeah. Right, we got we got our wiener hats. We Previously on the Not-So-Great Race, two teams set off from two different cities, both about 1,000 miles away from Boulder, Colorado. Team Windy Dogs started in Chicago on their way to Colorado, hoping to reach Boulder before Team Surf and Turf, who started in Los Angeles. But if only the race were this simple, the teams must follow the exact instructions of the mysterious Big Cheese, who's sending texts for challenges along the way. This is Day 2. Seven o'clock, dude. Doesn't feel like seven. Is it seven? It's, it's early, is what it is. Um, so I say we get going now, right? The time zone issue that we lost an hour. Yeah. By the time zone, if Big Cheese wants wants to take an hour away from us when we get there, so be it. But let's just go. All right, listen. I think we're winning already, but we're gonna win again because we're doing an MPG run. And the other team, the Windy Dogs, are also doing an MPG run. But we have a V6, so I feel pretty good about this. EPA rates the expedition as 17 city, 22 highway, and 19 combined for the four wheel drive. We're gonna go over 300 miles in this and measure the fuel economy and let you know real world numbers. Couldn't Nathan park any closer? Jeez. I can't do one. Put my credit card in here. All right, we're using the same procedure. We'll let it fill up, wait 30 seconds, and then top off. I want you to take a trip No. No, shut up. No. No. <laughs> yes, I turned off the sound. That's amazing. Okay, we're gonna wait 30 seconds and then top off. I'm timing it. Okay, okay. This is science, real world science. Wow, that's a big top off. That's why we do this, make sure we're more or less even. All right, let's get on the highway and go. The, the, what? The gear knobby is, it takes away from the truck experience. You know, I, I, want, I want a lever. I want something where you just grab, you're like, bah, 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 bah. Or, or even better yet, I want something where you squeeze the handle and you, you step, rust pops out and dust and you smell gear oil and chum chum. <laughs> you know, the expedition is related to the F-150. The F-150 has a column shift or a center console shift. But you know, I asked Ford about this. And you know what, what they said? Well, they say shut up. No, they said they're looking to the future and they want to ha have an electronically controlled shifter first to save space. Sa to and, save and, and, space. And, and also they said uh, for future development, I'm not sure if they mean autonomy or you know, I don't know if, how far they want to go, but but that's interesting, I think. It's wrong. It's wrong.
right, Kent. Yes. Well, uh, we burned our hour that we had to wait. Yeah, we got Because fine. we got in a little bit late last night. We were up all night trying to get here to Omaha, so Nebraska. Now, Kent, we're searching for Warren Buffett's house. Is he lost? I don't know. Oh. No, we're searching. We're searching. We're okay. searching for him. Well, you know, he's a busy guy. He probably goes in and out. I bet he's probably, probably has a newspaper route with his bicycle. No, no one Warren is probably that, like, has ooh, a I corner lot. Kent he would have might a, have found it. That he would have it. a corner lot. This might be his house. Get in here, Kent. We gotta take his picture. I'm just amazed that he lives in a barn. He's got a large. He lives in a barn. A large house. Okay. Come on, Warren. Come out and say hi. Kent, we're here at Warren Buffett's house. How do you feel? I feel feel emotional. Being this close to Warren Buffett, it just means a lot to me. It does. It does. I've read half of his Kent's books. Kent's been talking about this. For basically since we got yes. the task. Yes, Shy Hathaway, man. They're, they're my kind of people. That's just, I've, I've dreamed of owning one of those <sighs> shares, and I'm going to keep dreaming because it's... Yeah, one share is all you need. Well, uh, you drive now. Okay, I'm so happy. Welcome to the deserts of Utah. We're hiding the hat for you guys. And we're a few miles away from St. George, near, is this Sleepy Hollow? What's this called? No, it's Sand Hollow, dude. Sand Hollow. And we're in Hurricane Utah. And you have to figure out where this is. And if you don't, we'll release some more clues, right? Yeah, but honestly, it shouldn't be that hard. And please email us at askthetfltruck.com when you find the hat, picture of you, a picture of your truck, the hat, anything. Send it to us so we can share it. All right, dude. Somebody coming? Nope, nobody's coming. Do it. Andre, crush hat. Beauty hat. Crush. No, right. I don't want to crush it. I just got a text. Are you all right? You yeah. doing okay? I'm fine. Okay, so um, Big Cheese says you're driving an Expedition FX4, an SUV that's plainly meant for more than cruising down Las Vegas Strip. Well, that was nice actually. That was pretty cool. Yeah. The next challenge will take you off the beaten track. Head to TFL's favorite off-roading destination and get a picture of the truck on the most challenging terrain you can handle. What does this mean? Well. <laughs> Moab is on the way. I, I know, yeah. Hell yeah! Yeah, boy! Moab, let's go to Moab. Well, that kind of wakes me up, so we go there and then we go... Um, what can we handle? How about what we call baby lions back? You know that climb? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But That's what if it's idea. raining? I, we should be fine. You know, it's called Slick Rock for a reason, right? I wouldn't worry about it too much. You took all the risks yesterday with the surfing. I'll take the risks today with the outfit. Well, but I risked my body. I don't want to risk the vehicle, too. did we go? 356.7. 356.7 miles divide by 18.76. Nice dude, is that what you got? That's exactly what I got. 19. The truck said 19.9? Yep. Yeah, well, let's stop the boring stuff. Let's go off-roading. That sounds like an idea.
Guys, I gotta tell you, one of the reasons why this Ford Expedition is an excellent long distance driver is because of its suspension setup. Check this out. It has a four wheel independent suspension, unlike other SUVs, but more importantly, it has the FX4 suspension package, which is an off-road package, but it gives it an extra squishy ride. All right, Ken's gonna eat some donuts and orange juice, but it's time to do some geocaching. So, we got our hat, we got our baggie, and my business card in here. Once you find the hat, you gotta send us an email to ask at tfltruck.com. Let us know you found the hat. Send us a picture, maybe put the hat on, it's a good idea. Uh, and uh, we're gonna go hide it. It's somewhere here in a park in Omaha, Nebraska. You guys just have to come find the hat. Oh, I tell you, I love these donuts sitting here waiting forever for Michael. I don't know why it's taking him so long, but I have to keep the getaway car warmed up and ready to go. Ooh, how about in there? All you have to do, find this park, here in Omaha, there's a fountain right there, that's a good landmark, over a bridge, little river down here, and it's just, just up, up by that tree, right up there. Send us an email, send us a picture, hope to see some pictures soon. The Big Cheese has sent us another message. The Head Cheese. Big Cheese. You are in Nebraska, the land of gently rolling hills and prairie grasslands. Your next challenge is to find the highest point in the state at 5,424 feet above sea level. How much? 5,424 feet. That's up there. 5,000? 5, 5,000 feet. It's almost a mile above sea level? That's almost a mile. This is like a mountain. I bet there's snow on top of that. That's over a mile above sea level. Well, a mile is 5,280. So this is over a mile above sea level. Holy cow. In Nebraska, who knew? I bet it's snowing on top In of Nebraska's that. Nebraska's all uphill. It was a 2019 Suburban four-wheel drive. This is the half ton. It's the premier model RST, so it has that 6.2 in it and the 10-speed. This rascal's a limousine. You know it's related to the Cadillac Escalade because of the ride. It's got the Magna ride on it. Then you open the door and you got these gorgeous Coco mahogany leather interior, four captain's chairs, and a bench in the back. So you got seat belts for seven, but it's just gorgeous inside. Very comfortable ride. The seats fit my nice fat butt, my heavy-duty reporter rear end. It did so well, but you can't complain about it. It's a limousine. Woods with bears. Bears doing the work. Hello. Oh, Hello. Are you guys surf, awake? Uh, surf and wow. turd. Hey, uh, windy wieners. Hello, little wieners. <laughs> How's it going? Oh, we're doing just peachy keen. We just planted our hat and we're about to hit the main highway again. We just hid the hat as well. We're about to make our way to Panorama Point, the highest point in Nebraska at 5,424 feet. I'm excited for you guys. Oh, that sounds great. Yeah. That's going to really, be really exciting. That's really cute. I hope you guys get the feeling better. We know you can't get to looking better. No. Oh, we had a feeling you're going to be saying stuff like that. But you see, we have just received our assignment. And we are on our way to our natural home, Moab, Utah. Yes. yes. You guys are gonna get it's stuck. Kind of You're gonna get stuck on a rock and then be stuck there for six days before we come tell you out. Well, we've done 539 miles on this trip so far and as you can see right here, our fuel range has gone from an actual number to just the word low. Let's see if it'll take premium. Yep, that's going to be expensive. Okay, I looked in the owner's manual. This is the long wheelbase Suburban. So, we have a 31.5 gallon tank. about 29 gallons out of that 31 and a half gallon tank. I think it warns you just a little bit earlier so you don't run out. I have a reserve tank. I 
on a sign, Ken. Oh, wow, two signs. And a fence. Two signs. This is high point. It is. Bison. It's real. Hey, look at that. Whoa, bison? bison area. No walking. Vehicle traffic only. Okay, we want the bison to bite. Tri-state corners. It's around lunchtime, so where's the one place we need to go to? Milts. Milts. Dude, did we really order so many taters? I don't think we can go up the mountain like this. Shut up. Not too much. Never too much. So we have about 9.8 inches of ground clearance. Okay, it's a decent that's, amount. It's a decent amount. We do have independent suspension all the way around. Ford was one of the first ones to have a full-size SUV that had an independent rear suspension. And then our approach is 23.3 degrees. Mm -hmm. Our departure is 21.9. Eh, not the best numbers, right? No, and the problem is... Whoa. Going up baby lion's back, that was a skip pick, I Going up baby lion's back is... The, the opening part is rough. And that's the part where I'm concerned about. I mean, this is a great test. Um, for approach, departure, and clearance, too. Yeah, uh, I do have a locking rear diff, and I've already activated it just because. And we're using four low, right? We're in four low already. Now, the thing is, the baby lion's back isn't that challenging, but it's really important that you maintain a decent pace going up it um, and make sure that you don't weave. <laughs> there are lines there already established that you can go up. Well, one misstep and it could end quite badly. Yeah. I might have to get out and walk. Why don't you get out and walk? Yeah. I'd rather have you spotting me anyway, to be honest with you. Yes. Okay. Okay, I'll see you. Thanks. So guys, check it out in the front. So the approach angle is there. There is a little bit of a chin spoiler. And as soon as we go up, we need to watch the departure because the rear end is going to start to dig in. It's only like 21 degrees in the back, isn't it? 21.9, yeah. So we cleared the front. Look at the back. It's doing well. Look, Look at the back. Driver. Sorry. Look at the back, please. Hey, go give me a wave. Come on, Lockie, you're good. more skidding than I'm used to primarily because it's so wet probably got up this thing 50 times but that was one of the scarier times <laughs> but you can feel the uh, rear diff locking and pushing me up the hill <sighs> I don't want to do that again How much, this has cost $63,000 right yeah approximately <laughs> I think we used every dollar just now. I gotta tell you, uh, I rarely lose traction on these things and I was a little concerned. And um, I think the lock really helped. I, yeah, I could feel it. Because both tires started biting in. Yeah, I felt that because I, the front end started doing this a little bit, uh, moving it around, and uh, Nathan got a little scared. We have surfed. And we are now on turf. <laughs> but this is amazing turf. We're on top of baby lion's back. Yeah, this is an area that we're very familiar with and we love filming here. In fact, the last time we really filmed here was with three of the most off-road worthy pickups we can get our hands on. And now, we still have to go down. This is 
way steeper than I can imagine. How do I get down here? All right, guys, we're gonna hide the second hat on the way to fins and things. That's the only clue I can give you, other than what you've seen. So yeah, try to find it. And when you do, Andre, where do they reach us? You can reach us at ask at tfltruck.com. Send us a picture of you, your truck, your Jeep, the hat, anything. Once again, I'm sad because we have to leave. But we just got a text from the big cheese. Oh, cool. What it say? Here's what it says. Now that you've tested the Expedition FX4's off-road ability, it's time to head for home. Oh, finally. Oh, finally, yeah. Your next, what? Your next task along the way is to find the famous healing mineral waters that have soothed the weak and weary for over a century. Oh, that's uh, like Glenwood Springs. Well, y yeah, Tell you me. could get souped there, I guess. I don't got a soup. Nathan. Oh, Nathan. What? Nathan, I left you something for just this occasion. This is yours. Is, are there any more details? Well, how fair is this? I was surfing and you were soothing yourself? Well, we don't know exactly what the soothing is. He left something for me. Look at that. That's a buffalo chip. That's, That's why the pioneers heated their cow food pie. with. That's a buffalo chip, man. Frisbees. They have the whole contest of throwing buffalo chips and cow chips. That's not a take that home people with people don't do that. Yes, they I'm do. Not, really, they really up. do. I'm not gonna pick up buffalo the chip, buffalo man. Chip. It's a chip throwing contest. That poor calf can't get to the fence. It's electrified. I think you're gonna have to go there, grab him, and try to lift him over the fence. I'm not grabbing I the baby calf. We have to go. Right up this road here is the tallest point in Nebraska. Uh -oh. Then we gotta get back to the office, Cam. We're on a race that here. Calf we gotta quit. Is getting restless. Stop messing around. The whole herd get, is getting get excited. We gotta quit messing up. We found it! We found it! It's the tallest point in Nebraska! Oh, I'm so excited. Look at that like tombstone. Maybe they buried. Look at the panorama. Up here. Look this at is that. a it's panorama a right here. Man. The highest point in Nebraska, elevation 5424, erected by Kimball, Nebraska Chamber of Commerce, 1971. Holy cow, it looks like somebody's tombstone. Somewhere. There's somebody buried there. There's no one buried there. It's that is so cool. What's this? You gotta, you gotta come over here and barbecue well, stuff? Well, this is a desk. And look, they got a chair, man. You they got a free desk and a free chair. Enjoy the view. Look at the panorama. Is that a dust storm fire? Is that a fire? That's a fire. This cool bench here that we can rest our weary bones on. has these two plaques on. One of them is Panoramic Point that we know about, it, Panoramic Point. Elevation 5,424. It says Kimball County locals Art Hendrickson and Claude Alden discovered the highest point of Nebraska in October 1951. Using and a, and a World, World War, War One altimeter. altimeter. So they so drove, cool. they drove they, around yeah. all of Nebraska. Yeah, <laughs> trying they just to find the highest by point. Inch, trying <laughs> to find this spot. This is it. They dedicated they their finally lives to ended find up right this. Here. There's funding for this bench. There's a log book. Kent, we gotta log ourselves okay. in the book. Okay. Let's take a piece of the highest point in the Yes, let's take a, take a whiz on the I'm mountain here. It's time to geocache our second hat. And I think it's actually pretty obvious where we gotta put this one. There's a drawer right here. Might as well just leave it in there. So if you guys wanna get this hat, come here to Panorama Point in Bushnell, Nebraska. Cool. Okay, well, we got a race, Kent. We Almost gotta, to the three corners. We got to get back. Well, this was our last thing. We're going back to Boulder. We're gonna, we got to beat those guys. We're going to win. Dude, so I have a problem with this task because it sounds like we're uh, taking you to a spa. Uh, yeah. A hot springs. Hot springs. What are you gonna do, like a mani patty or what, what's going on here? I don't know. All I know is I'm supposed to go in there and they're supposed to be holding on to something for us and the rest will be self-explanatory. That's by, all I got. By the way, I did not fart. It's a sulfur smell to the uh, hot springs. Yeah, I, yeah, I just wanted you to know I did not fart. <laughs> Oh, 
What is this? A spa? Come on! What do you have there? This is waiting for us. So big cheese delivered, I uh, had this delivered? Yeah. What is that? I don't know. It smells like rubber. What the hell? I guess it's a inflatable something. What? Oh no. Andre! I, okay. No! Oh dude, you're definitely going in the pool. You're you're gonna swim with the unicorns. Are you kidding me? That's right. Oh. I have more bad news. So I just checked with the Colorado Department of Transportation and I-70 eastbound is completely closed right now. Here's the message. I-70 is closed eastbound between Glenwood Springs where we are and mile marker 133 due to a semi-tractor trailer crash. Um, no estimates for reopening has been established. That means it's closed indefinitely. Which means we're, we're losing, losing the race. race. So I would say just have fun with this, okay? Just have fun with this, relax, play with the unicorn, do all that stuff. People are older than Roman. Maybe we should head down to the far end. You look really happy. Yeah, I'm thrilled. Um, so, by the way, uh, a lot of children have asked to borrow the unicorn. I'm thinking we can rent it out. Can we just get this over with? <laughs> Please. <laughs> I have fulfilled the dare. You, you did it. Do you want to stay here for a while? Not on the unicorn. <laughs> Get your social media stuff out of the way. Hey, hey, I'm not really uh, very hey, well. hey, 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 Nathan. Go. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, it tastes really good. <laughs> Have you nope. swam here before? Never, I never tasted the water either. It's supposed to be really healthy. <laughs> it's healthy. <laughs> it's good for your skin. You look very healthy right now. Uh, I feel like I'm glowing. Do we have to bring the stupid unicorn with? I, I think we do. I, I think we can put Michael on it next. Do you see where I'm going? Dude, um, we got a call, see the Colorado Department of Transportation. Sorry about this. Yeah, don't worry about it. A statewide message is in effect. I-70 is closed eastbound between Colorado 82 Glenwood Springs and Dotsero Mile Marker 133 due to a semi tractor trailer crash. There is no estimated time for reopening. <laughs> to come rescue you. Hey boys. Where are you? Where are you? You tell, you tell us first. We're in Nebraska still. Where are you guys at? He's lying. He's lying. He's lying. He's lying. back 
here at our home gas station and it's time to finish this MPG loop. Now our trip computer shows that we did 586.1 miles on this tank alone, which it's a lot of mileage. Trip computer also says we've been doing 20.7 MPG in that stretch. So we're gonna fill it up using the two-click method. We're gonna see what kind of actual fuel mileage we get and have a conclusion to our MPG loop. You got up. my truck dirty. We might be doing two credit card swipes because you can only go to 100 bucks before you have to do another one. 360? That's like expensive gas. Team Windy Dog hats Man, on. Thank you, thank you. My Windy Dog hat. I'm so excited. I'm excited to give our compatriots their gift. That'll be fun, huh? Yes. Yeah, I'm getting a headache. Can't see straight. But you look great, Ken. Do I look great? You look awesome. Get ready. Here comes your word of the day. Pull that string. What do you know? Don't pull my string. Why did I string to say? Oh, okay, first click. Right. Gonna wait 30 seconds from here. Five eighty-six point one divided by twenty-seven point nine one one. 20.998, so basically 21 MPG, which means yeah. A, the trip computer was pretty close, Yes. but B, our Suburban actually gets pretty good gas mileage for some of the 6.2 well, liter V8. There was one tank in there, we were getting like 22.5. It was amazing. This thing gets this really, like and overall. this was all uphill, because we were going yes, from Omaha was. up to Colorado. It was at 70 miles an hour. We were, well, 75, part of that. Part was, it was 70, and part of speed limit in Nebraska the was speed 75. Limit. Yes, Point is, in Nebraska was 75. 21 MPG. It's very good. You think we won? Oh, of course we won. We're the team, man. We are the windy, team windy dogs, dogs. We got our, our windy dog hats on. Yes, we. Uh, how can we possibly lose? I don't know. I mean, I think we were just miles ahead of them. Clearly, oh. we we're the superior team. Of course, we we didn't hardly take a break for lunch. We just kind of just burned through it. Yeah. No, no, this thing was fun to drive. We had a fun trip. Looking at our trip computer, we reset the trip computer yes. about 30 miles after we picked up the car. Right. So. This trip is 1,125.6 miles, so we'll call it 1,155.6 miles. And you added that 30 back then. Adding that 30 in. Wow, that's good, that's, that's good. That's pretty good, oh, just yeah. 1,150 miles. Well, this magnetic ride was cool. Oh it's my gosh. It's been a while since I've been in one of that, but it really smoothed out the bumps, because we had some rough country. Oh my gosh, you know, it did. Dirt this, road. this thing rode just as well on a country dirt road as it did on I-80 going 80 miles an hour. Don't see any of anybody else. Maybe we won. Did we win, Ken? I think we probably did. Well, let's go inside and see if anybody's in the office waiting. Yeah, Maybe the big cheese is here. Phil drag this hat slower than that. Did we win? Holy cow! Oh my god, the big cheese is Tommy! What happened, happened to you? Hat? The little, a, the little cheese is here. Oh, is, is that a tumor? What is that? Welcome. It's a cheese hat. Well, well I'm we glad we're our, not the only ones we with ridiculous hats. hats. Yeah, we I think all of us with ridiculous hats. hats. So come, come to the light here. Did we, did we win? I bet you're wondering. Did we win? Did you win? Did we win? Well, who else would win? I mean, what is it? What are you talking well, there's about? There's no one else here. Did it, we win? It was you guys. You won. What? Can I take hats? this hat off, right? Can I take the hat no, off? No, well, yeah. The bad news is... What's the bad news? The other team is stuck. There is no estimated time for reopening. <laughs> they opened the highway! Yeah, but you know, we also received uh, a text. What? The guys won. Yeah, well, 
That was, well, we had a four hour delay. I know. One way to settle this completely, though. What do you mean, settle this? We won! We won! We yeah, won! It's Claire. not their fault they're not here. They yes, got, it is. Hey, that, they, were, that's, they were too I, slow. We, we don't control an act of God. Yeah, yeah well, that's not our fault. I yeah. think we need to do a drag race. Oh. So, apparently, the big cheese says yes. that we are still in it. That there is one more so? thing. I don't know. They that to arrive at a certain place at a certain time, and we will finally figure out who's king. Uh, okay, okay, I finally made it. Uh, oh, Nathan and Mike already here. Well, you know what? I'll start the drag race. It's gonna be good. I don't recognize Mike without the glasses. For all the marbles, I've got my wiener hat on, uh, my, excuse me, my hot dog hat on. What do you think? Oh, me too. Look out! No! No! <laughs> Eagle boost at this elevation? Yeah. Oh, he's so fast. Gosh, that ego boost is just quick, man. Sorry, son, but did you expect any differently? That's the faster truck. This is the faster truck. And we had more fun. No, 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 no. No. More fun? No, wait. We bought you a gift. We bought you a gift. Yeah, you want to go first? Yeah, here. Okay. <clears throat> this is your gift. That better not be a beer bong. Nope. On, nope. Okay. It's a, um, well, it's a, it's, um, it's a gear shift cover. So you put this on your transmission, and then you, your, because transmissions get really hot in semi trucks. So you put this on there, and then you can shift around, right? Without. I don't want to tell your you. Your hands don't get. So here you go. Thank you. Yeah, it's wood grain too. No, it's wood grain. That's it's awesome. It's very nice and foamy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's two gifts for you guys. Oh. Here's the first one. Whoa, what? Loser? Uh-huh. Wait a minute. And the second one was predictive. We actually knew that your glasses would break. Oh my god. Thank you very much. Oh Try my on. god. Try them on, baby. Oh, these are wonderful. Mm -hmm. They oh, have built-in sideburns. I've which, always wanted sideburns. I know, so this is uh, gonna help you out. Oh, and I can uh, see. There we go. Okay. I can't tell you all the things I was thinking it was when you pulled it out. Oh, you! I can't tell I, you. I know what you thought it was, but um, no, it's a gear shift cover. Welcome to TFL headquarters, folks. We've got the whole crew here. We finished the race, and there's a little bit of a controversy about how we actually wrapped it up. Well, yeah, I think we won the whole thing. <laughs> Straight up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Now what? let's let's think about this from a logical conclusion no. here. How many seconds did you beat us by in that drag race? Maybe, maybe like 0.2 of a second? At least one. And how many hours one did we second? beat you by on yeah, the well, whole race? Was it, was it six hours? Multiple, we were, like, matter, we were hours ahead of you guys getting it, actually, like finishing the actual race. It doesn't matter because we went to cooler places than you. That's true. Yes, and yeah, we drove cooler I, roads. Yours yeah. was cool, we had the, we had the flatlanders, but, you know, we need to, like everybody does on a dyno, you adjust for altitude. If we were racing those two against each other in Houston, we would have beat you. But in altitude, the twin turbos have an advantage, so we should always adjust for altitude. For the drag race. Right, because then we would beat you, actually. Right. Uh, yeah, no. Not to mention, no, not only that, but Houston wasn't part of our... Uh, <laughs> right. Where did you get Houston from? <laughs> well, where I mean, where did Chicago? you get a traffic jam for four hours from? We didn't ask you to do that. So yes. there's a bit of a debate about the ending of the race, and we kind of wanted your input. So if you guys wouldn't mind letting us know what you think about the end of it, I personally believe that Andre and I had the better route, and I think we had the faster truck. But at the end of it, these guys, Got there way before we did, yeah. so we oh, actually hours, actually half a day before you did. I'm trying to be diplomatic. Uh, just a bit. Once again, guys, thanks for joining us. Uh, 
Thank you very well much. Well done. I'm sorry you had to put up with Mikey. You but you, me again? Yeah, but you made Mikey a man. Thank I did. I did. Yeah. Yeah. I shot his horrible thing to say. Oh my God. Hey guys, say bye. Say bye to our audience. Bye. Thank you for joining us. It was an awesome race. Let us know who actually won the race. Thanks for watching. We know who won. We won.